assalamu alaikum everyone today we are going to conduct lecture number 27 of this online course microprocessor and assembly language and today's topic is compare instruction so let's proceed to our topic compare instruction compare instruction enables us to determine to compare two different values or two different numbers which are stored inside uh, two different register for example one can say that um, probably we do have two register ax it has certain value uh, maybe a 16 bit value and another number let's say which is stored in bx so it ha it also has a 16 bit number and now we are interested to know which one of them is the larger number so that case or if we want to know if the both of these values are equal or not then in that case one need to know compare instruction and compare instruction enable us to determine that uh, relationship between them which one of them is larger so uh, how this operation is basically uh, uh, reflects towards our in, in our result that is result of this comparison operation is reflected by the changes in six status flags and which are those these are basically these flags i hope you remember these are status flags and we have been discussing these flags frequently during this course so overflow zero flag sign flag uh, auxiliary flag parity flag or carry flag these are six different flags which are responsible to determine which one of them actually is larger one and how this operation is performed i'm going to explain you in coming slides okay this slide represent the operation and what is going to be the format of this instruction so uh, mnemonic or the keyword for this instruction is CMP CMP stands for compare that is the meaning of this instruction and the format is very simple compare D comma S or CMP D comma S that means D is our destination operand and S is our source operand and at the backhand of this uh, command what is going to happen uh, microprocessor either it is 8086 or 8088 uh, source operand is going to subtracted from destination operand and then of course if it is a subtraction operation uh, so it will be affecting number of flags which are mentioned here and as i told you these are the flags which will be uh, responsible to represent the score or representing the decision that which one of uh, these operands I mean the destination operand or the source operand is a larger one and which of these is smaller one so let's proceed and see how this uh, function is performed okay we are going to test CMP command and we know that format would be like this CMP D comma S where what will be happening in the backhand D minus S will be happening okay so let's say we have a number stored in ax move ax comma 1024 hex and the next number is stored in bx which is 0024 hex i hope everybody can do it very easily uh, there is uh, everybody can determine which one is the larger of course ax has larger value but we're gonna uh, determine this concept from uh, CMP command so CMP will be having D comma S so D is our a AX we're just comparing AX with what source or the BX so what is going to happen uh, let's emulate this program single step 1024 is loaded here right another single step 0024 is loaded in the BX and uh, when we gonna run this command what is going to happen at the back hand we are going to subtract and these numbers so i'm just gonna explain it you manually uh, so ax value is what 1024 so if i convert it into binary 001 000 0010 and 0100 bx is basically 0024 hacks so that would be in binary what 000 000 0 1 0 and 0 1 0 0 so if I'm going to subtract it we know that result would be what uh, result will be 0 minus 0 0 minus 0 
1 minus 1 and 0 so result would be what right and then 0 then 0 then 0 and then 0 so I hope everybody is performing this subtraction that would be 0 0 0 right what is going to happen 1 minus 0 1 0 and 0 and 0 so that will be subtraction result I just wrote it for you zero zero and one right so that should be our result and we know that number is what number is positive clearly one can clearly see that this, this number is positive because a most significant number most significant bit is zero so that means we are subtracting a, a smaller number from a larger number so one can clearly see that if the number is positive that means sign flag okay I'm gonna write in the bottom so that means sign flag would be zero that means number is positive or sorry result is positive that means ax has larger value furthermore we don't see any borrow one can also determine from borrow we don't see any borrow so c uh, c is equal to zero or we don't see any auxiliary borrow right so af is also zero overflow there is no overflow chance so this is basically zero parity one can also determine its parity it's not even parity so parity flag will also be zero so uh, one can clearly define from these flags that whether which one of the number is larger one right so this is the concept and we are gonna see here in this manual single step so look sign flag is zero zero flag sorry carry flag is also zero so both number indicating there was no borrow taken number result is positive that means that means the first argument or the destination operand is the larger compared to the source operand or the second operand and one thing which is noticeable uh, backhand process is subtraction it is not the subtraction itself so there is no change at all in the registers it is only the flag registers or flag bits which gonna tell you whether uh, which number is larger and which one number is smaller one right so it is not the ax and vx which is going to change it is just the status register which is going to change and which will help us to determine which one is larger one okay we take one more example of cmp command let's say we have a certain value stored in cx let's say cx has uh, 0 2 4 5 6 sorry f456 hacks right and bx has basically move bx has f457 hacks okay so that is our number uh, and one thing which is noticeable uh, which one of them is negative both are negative because both have what both have f here and I'm talking about sign number so it is just uh, uh, it is a negative number it is a negative number if you compare so if you compare it uh, CMP CX comma BX right so let's say let's see which one of them is larger one and uh, which one of them is a uh, smaller one we gonna emulate this program single step 456 is okay 457 is loaded so this time we are comparing CX with BX look sign flag is 1 or carry flag is 1 which indicates what which indicates we subtracting a smaller uh, we subtracting a larger number from a smaller number that means uh, the first argument or the first operand or the destination operand which is CX is basically what is smaller number so that indicates that CX has uh, smaller number uh, probably at this stage things are becoming more uh, simple to you I mean maybe point is not clear at this stage but once we are going to discuss uh, the branching instruction or the control flow instructions uh, then probably you will see the magic which is given by this CMP command and we can sort any number right
okay this is uh, very first time you're gonna write a program in a semi language for a certain given task and this is lab assignment also so you can consider it as your lab assignment number two and you have to submit it uh, through portal as well so I will upload it using your portal as well but uh, what you have to do you have to load these three numbers in these three registers AX uh, should have 02456 BX should have 5896 hacks and CX should have 78956 hacks right so these three numbers should be loaded as it is given here and then now, now you have to write two different programs in first uh, question you have to write a sign language program which will push the largest value among these numbers or among these register in the DX and you will uh, write a program which will do it automatically it's not that you will check yourself manually and you're gonna just push the largest number in DX okay and similarly you're gonna write another program another assembly language program which will push the smallest value in DX so this, these are two programs which are your lab assignment as well and this is also the the practicing of uh, this is this will also be considered as practice of CMP command so you can say that this is a practice example for CMP command and as well as lab assignment okay so I hope you will be doing it and you will be understanding the concept of CMP command okay that's it from this lecture uh, today we learned about CMP command or the computer instruction and if you have any um, uh, query uh, or any uh, thing which you could not understand in this lecture so you can note them down and you can ask me in online session and we will try to resolve those queries thank you so much for listening